I'm Jeff with ArmadillaPepper.com. Today we're going to make some beer brined and rum glazed pork chops. Now this recipe works in the oven, it'll work on the grill, but today I'm going to make these in the charbroil oilless fryer. What I've got here is my brine. Uh, they've been in this brine about eight hours. And what this brine is made up of, it's uh, one quart of water, one quart of beer. I used a Pilsner that I had here. I've got a half a cup of kosher salt, and then I've got one quarter cup of brown sugar. So, quite simple, right? Put the water, the beer, the salt, the sugar in, mix it up real well. I then put my pork chops in, in the brine, covered it, and put it in the fridge. Like I said, it's been in there about eight hours. Now what I'm going to do is just take some paper towels, and we're going to pat these down to get off any excess salt. And as soon as I get them all patted down and get the excess salt off, then we'll be back and I'll show you how I'll season these. Now to season these today, I'm going to use this Oak Ridge Barbecue Competition Beef and Pork Rub. Look, this stuff is great. I don't know if you know about Oak Ridge, but these guys make some awesome seasonings. Look, if you don't have this, no worries. Um, you can uh, use some salt and pepper if you want. You can use your favorite pork rub. But what we're doing here, right, is we've brined these in the beer brine. It does two things. Add some flavor as well as going to help make sure these stay moist while we're cooking them. And now we're adding another layer of flavor before we make this uh, rum glaze. So I'm just going to um, season both sides of these chops. And then when I get them all seasoned up, we're going to get these in the charbroil oilless fryer. And it doesn't have to be olive oil. It can be, uh, what do you call it, Pam or any other cooking spray. This just makes it easy uh, to help these pork chops not stick. So I'm just going to sit a couple here in the bottom of this guy. Then we'll just spray this in a little bit with some olive oil. Okay. Now I'm going to get these in our big easy oilless fryer. Okay. And you definitely do not want to use the lid on this oilless fryer or you will burn these chops up. Okay, to get this glaze going, just going to add a couple of uh, tablespoons of butter to start with. We'll let this melt down. Alright, our butter's about melted down. Now what I'm going to do is I've got, can you see this? I've got some of this St. Augustine Distillery rum. We're going to put about half a cup of this in here. or so. Just give it a stir. Now I've got some brown sugar. Which I just caught on fire. Okay. So you want to be careful, right? You don't want to burn yourself up. And then I got a little smoked paprika here. That must be some of the good rum. Alright, so we've got the alcohol finally cooked off. Now I'm going to add about a half a cup 
of molasses. And I'm just going to simmer this until it starts to thicken up so we have a nice glaze for those chops. Our glaze has been working here for about 10-15 minutes, probably closer to 10 minutes. We'll take it off the heat now and it'll thicken up a little bit more. Let me just taste this. Oh my gosh, just like eating candy. Mm. And let's get our pork chops out of that uh, oilless fryer also. It's been right at 30 minutes. These pork chops are done. Let's get them out of here. Okay. Oh, look at that. They look great. She's out of here. I don't know if you've used one of these fryers, but this stuff is hot, so be really careful. Yeah, I just want to hit these guys up with the glaze we made. You can see it's thickened up. And you could even serve right some of this in a bowl on the side as a dipping sauce. Okay, I want to taste this pork chop. See the inside there. <laughs> Juicy, sweet from that molasses. You could definitely taste the rum. Mmm. Oh my gosh. And you can actually taste that beer. It's kind of an undertone underneath the molasses. And I say the sweetness is from the uh, molasses, but also that uh, Oak Ridge barbecue uh, rub has cane uh, sugar in it. And I'm sorry for eating in front of you. But sauce wise, these are some of the best pork chops I ever made. Hey, thanks for watching another episode. If you have any questions or you have any feedback, just leave us a comment below.